Well, I guess this is the sneaker a lot of people have been waiting for. The Jordan 1 Chicago is one of the most recognizable pair of sneakers. That red, white, and black color blocking is such a classic and it transcends the Jordan 1 model itself. It also is a big part of Michael Jordan's history. The NBA is celebrating their 75th anniversary and they brought out the big guns for this one. So today we're taking a look at what they brought to the table for this celebration and it is the Nike Dunk Low Chicago. All right, here we have a regular Nike box. So they're obviously not celebrating that hard with any special packaging or anything like that. You just get the solid red box with the Nike branding on the top and the sides. But we're not here for the box. We are here for what is inside. And let me tell you, what is inside is very, very clean and very special. Today, we're taking a look at the Nike Dunk Low Chicago. Damn, these are clean. What a colorway. And can I just say straight off the bat, I like how it looks on a Nike Dunk Low. Now I will say that we did actually get a Chicago colorway of the Nike Dunk Low SB model. That SB model is the one with the fatter tongue and just generally a skateboarding model of the Dunk Low. And even though that SB was a little bit more accurate in terms of the color blocking, I think this one looks really, really good. Not to mention that the Nike Dunk Low is one of the most popular sneaker silhouettes this year and a lot of people actually prefer the regular Dunk Low over the SBs, so this is definitely a popular one. Either way, here's your release details. These released here in the UK on the 8th of October, however you guys out in the US are a little bit behind yet again. These are going to be dropping on the 23rd of October for you guys in the US. These retail for £90 here in the UK or $110 if you're out in the US. I will say that this Chicago colorway in terms of the color blocking is a little bit closer to the Jordan 1 satin snakes that we saw. I think it was 2019 or 2020. Either way, this one has no satin or no snake skin, but it does have a similar color blocking of the red towards the front and then the black paneling towards the back. Now, there are some things about this pair of sneakers that actually kind of surprised me and also made me like this pair of sneakers a whole lot more. And the first thing is the materials. Guys, they did a much better job on the leather quality with with this pair as opposed to some of the other GR dunks that we've seen this year. Here's a good example, the UNC Nike Dunk Low that released this year. Take a look at the toe box press test. Can you see the, the how it's wrinkling? That plasticky leather just really doesn't crease nicely at all. And those creases stay. And then take a look at this one. You can see it creases a lot nicer. That toe box press test feels a lot softer and less plasticky. And even though it's not a huge difference, I feel like just this tiny little step above the GR Dunks with the leather quality makes a big difference for me. Now, another thing that kind of surprised me about this colorway that made me like it a lot more is the color blocking for the base layer. So what you see for the medial, the lateral, and the toe box is not a bright white. It's actually a little bit more of a duller, almost sail color. And that to me is something I really like. Again, it's subtle and it's not huge, but it does make the shoe just look a little bit better quality. It makes it look a little bit more classic. Uh, and I think it really ties this sneaker together nicely. Now, the overlay materials that you get on here actually feel almost 
even better than the sail color that you find on the toe box medial and lateral. This red around the mud card feels much better. It's a lot softer, creases really nicely. It looks like they use slightly thicker leather as well. Uh, that red moves up around the eye stage. When you get to the back of the sneaker, you get some more of that black leather overlay specifically for the Nike swoosh. And then also this tiny little black panel around the back with the Nike branding embroidered. Now, obviously this sneaker is celebrating the NBA 75th anniversary, like I was telling you, but the way that they kind of incorporated it into this sneaker is very subtle. And I think it just goes with it perfectly. So the main two things or the main two details are going to be the little, uh, is this called a Debray? I think it's called a Debray. It's a little metal piece at the end of the bottom lace. That is all metal and it has a diamond logo, which is something you don't see on regular Nike Dunk. You also have a different tongue tag with the NBA logo at the top of that, which again is very subtle, but it adds some character and really shows off that this is a celebration pair of sneakers. I really like that they didn't add the Chicago team logo to the back of the sneakers. I feel like they did that on the Nets colorway and I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm glad that they just left this one nice, simple and uh, pretty subtle. The tongue comes in that same kind of white sail color that you find for the base layer of this sneaker. It's a mesh material and really gives you Jordan 1 vibe. Now moving down to the midsole, something that I'm not a huge fan of is the black stitching that they went with um, around the entire sneaker. I kind of wish that they just went with a white. It would look a little bit better. However, I'm definitely not that mad at it. It's not a deal breaker or anything. Uh, that midsole comes in white and the outsole is that same red color that you find on the top. Now as for sizing on the Nike Dunk Low, I personally go true to size. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you guys. Now listen, I know I pretty much say this every single Nike Dunk Low or high review, but yes, there has been a million different dunks this year. And uh, is this just another pair of regular dunks that you can just happily sleep on? and just stick with whatever ones you already have. I think this one is pretty special. It obviously celebrates something pretty massive and this color blocking looks insane on this model. They upped the materials from some of the GRs that we've seen, specifically those UNCs, definitely feels a lot nicer than that. This may be the colorway that you've been waiting on and if so, I definitely recommend it. This one is going straight in the back, straight into the collection. This one was definitely hard to get here in the UK. I didn't manage to get a pair for retail. I did have to spend that resale money, which actually isn't too too bad at this point. Either way, I'm a big fan of this one. I want to know what you guys think of the Nike Dunk Low NBA 75th Anniversary Chicago colorway. Let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts, but that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.